What's up, YouTube land? That Weird Collector here. Finishing off my haul from Nexidia. We have Movieverse Voyager Ratchet. I believe the only Voyager mold for Ratchet produced. Every other iteration of it is just a repaint. This paint scheme, however, is the one from the first Transformers movie. And it's green. Why? I can't say the best part of Ratchet wasn't his white on red color scheme, if that sentence makes any sense. So I don't know why they went and turned him green. Maybe because he's not a frickin' repaint of Ironhide anymore. But we'll get to that. First off, it rolls as most rolling things do. Uh, coming down to the deco, you got your fire department, search and rescue, and your health heart rate monitor, sorry. And if you haven't already been able to tell, he's a Hummer. Yeah. Not only do I now have a pickup truck transformer, I have a frickin' Hummer. Insert random Jeff Dunham joke here. I do like the personality that comes from dropping him on his side. The uh, front grill combined with this extra off-road lighting section, which is removable, I found out, and explodes off and one pop. Here you see what I assume is the engine block. I don't know why the Hummer has an exposed engine block. Headlights. Good old stuff. Translucent windows, always a treat. Molded in detail for the windshield wipers. I don't know why they're all the way down there. Again, I'm not sure if that's accurate to Hummer. I've never actually seen a Hummer personally, but well, at least this version of a Hummer, which is an H2. And you've got your tiny Autobot symbol with search and rescue fire department around it, which is a different shade of lime green, I guess. He's a two-toned vomit Hummer. Yay! And, of course, you've got your roof rack, which is removable. And apparently is also a stretcher for nobody whatsoever. Because I don't think anybody got taken off the battlefield in Transformers on top of Ratchet. But hey, I could be wrong. I painted that too just because it's a wheel. This is its gimmick. That sucks. Now, for comparison, I will bring in Deluxe Dark of the Moon Ratchet. And you can see they're the exact same vehicle. This one's a hell of a lot bigger. Hella big. Hella, hella, hella big. Just so you can see this one, I've already reviewed this, so you can go watch that video. But you can just see the comparisons on how different molds can be, even if they're based on the exact same vehicle. We attach his hood rack. And coming around to the back. Yeah, it's the same. Oh well. Another comparison for you, since I've already done the video, is Voyager Ironhide. You can see just how much bigger the Hummer is than, say, a rather snordinary 
pickup truck. But, oh well. Uh, nothing really around the back, just the bumper, I guess, with some tow lines, I guess you could say, hooks you could attach things to. But, now that we're done with details, we're going to get down to transformation. So, first we're going to go from Ironhide, looking like this, to Ironhide, looking like this. Now we will get down to Ratchet, and you want to remove this. Start by... Ah. Unpeg these side panels and fold them down. I forgot to mention something, actually. Both of the Movieverse ratchets I have have the panels missing that cover their head in vehicle mode. I don't know what it is with me and ratchet, but we seem to not be on the friendliest of terms. So, unpeg, double hinge. You can see some nice molded in detail here, if you could. i move down a bit. Nice molded in detail. Fold out the arms. Fold out these pieces and the shoulders. Like so. Take this top panel. Fold it down, or fold the windshield and then you're going to want to extend the legs as far as they can go unpeg them rotate at the knee and extend the legs so it's straight down like so fold out the foot what is there we go fold out the foot and that should auto-morph the knee. Again, second verse, same as the first. Fold down the foot, auto-morph the knee. And fold the hips down to match the crotch. And now, you're going to want to bring this piece, like, so how do I get a good shot? Like, so that fits in right there and the crotch will close up and secure the torso fold down the arms get them straightened out and twist the head and here you have Voyager Ironhide in his robot mode and as much as I said Ironhide looks like a powerhouse um, I think Ratchet looks more of a powerhouse. He looks big and bulky and big and bulky. Now you can attach his weapon to right there if you so choose. Or uh, I heard there was a place on his back but I'm guessing that's due to the uh, missing kibble. That place would be there. Now I'm going to do that thing where I go over each of his body parts and tell you how neat they are. His head's pretty neat, albeit a bit bland. All green plastic and barely any paint. He does have light piping, though. Light piping. Light piping? He has nice translucent blue eyes, which I wish I could show to you right now. His uh, transformation is pretty neat. I like how it folds out a lot of stuff. I'm grasping for words here, ladies and gentlemen. His shoulders, pretty uh, bulky and square with the kibble flaps. There's a bit more kibble around the back as well. You got your translucent head... head no. 
uh, <laughs> windscreen and bumper, back bumper, along with some nice molding and detail on the backs of the legs. Now, his arms are where I have a bit of an issue. They look really gangly and out of proportion, way too thin for his massive physique. And these hands, man, do they even look like regular hands? I guess he can just use it to curse the sky if he wants. He's got permanent middle finger, permanent bird. He's got permabird. I can't. I can't change it. He has no hand articulation. Oh. Okay, he has a little movement in his hand, but other than that, is he's stuck in permabird, which is rather amusing. And these parts of the arms are also where I have issue. Now this one's just one solid piece with some red paint and oddly the same lime green as the uh, doors. That is the word I was looking for, doors. <laughs> oh god. I can't attach, I can't re- there, no, no, can't re- ah, oh, there, I reattached his kibble. But this one is supposedly an axe, or at least was a prototype for a weapon Ratchet might have had. So what you do is you come in here, you flip up that panel that's on a slight Ratchet, and then you fold in his hand, fold down the panel, and uh, there's your axe. I guess it can be closer to a scalpel, since Ratchet is a doctor, or a nurse, whatever you want to call him. He's a surgeon, so I guess he, can, he must have a blade weapon to perform surgeries on open wounds or ripped off arms and legs. But also, for some reason, it's on a hinge, so you can do butterfly wing knife I guess nah that's not it's pretty crappy in my opinion it is nice for this toy to have a gimmick I guess unless you're TJ then you just hate gimmicks outright but I wish that could have been removed for better hand articulation or at least any hand articulation his head spins his shoulders are in a nice uh, 360 joint with some in and outward transformation action and this panel. His arm can flail in and out and then flail at the elbow for, for that kind of motion, I guess. Whatever you want. Nice amount of molding detail on the arms. His uh, waist is pretty cool, but it's it's a bit average, all bulky and uh, kibbly. His hips have a nice forward and backwards motion, but not much in and out due to the kibble. I don't feel like removing the wheel. A little bit in love with them legs. All square and thick. Like slabs of meatloaf. Uh, quite a bit of mold in detail on the sides too. And a bit of an automorph gimmick which bulks out the fire department panel. And puts it back and bulks it out. The knee has about... Mm, almost 90 degrees of motion. Yeah, I'd call that 90. My phone goes off. You got a knee swivel. And your foot goes about that far before you start de-transforming. Or going back to vehicle mode. 
and it wants to break the knee right there and that's about it for Ratchet he's quite the uh, bulky doctor I'd be scared of, I'd be scared to say no to this doctor honestly and overall he's just a uh, very average movie transformer now you can see him next to Voyager Ironhide and for another comparison we have Deluxe Dark the Moon Iron Hi Ratchet he's not Ironhide he looks like he looks like he could be Ironhide uh, I'd say this guy wins just out on face paint having some hand or having proper hands even though they have slightly less articulation. But, yeah, there's your size comparison. And I think that wraps up Ratchet. The Voyager Ratchet that I wanted since I got into collecting. Although I still want that iGear unofficial version. He really looks cool. But that's it. Thank you for watching. As always, uh, like this video. Favorite. Subscribe if you can. Uh, check the links in the description. Check out Next City Toy Emporium. And uh, have a great one. Bye.